trigger warning, but not because you might be triggered because we're literally just going to be talking about triggers. So many of us believe that triggers are to be avoided and to be covered up and to literally just escape from at all costs, basically. And what you will find contrary to popular belief is that it's actually the opposite. So the trigger itself is actually the starting point for you looking into or looking at something that at one point in your life worked and functioned for you and was therefore protective or promotive of you. But towards the continuation of your life, you then find that it becomes a problem and actually it starts to punish you. So with many of these things, we're looking to stay consistent with an identity and what we do is we have to push anything away that doesn't conform or fit within that identity. So for many of us, what that then actually means is that we're in a position whereby we're getting to the point of, do we look at it from the place of, yes, it's a trigger and yes, we can do something about it. Or do we continue to go down the route of actually well, what can I do about this trigger? In which case, one of them leads to further exploration and the other one leads to resolution of the actual problem that we're facing. And as with many of these triggers, what we don't actually realize is that they are related to us as individuals rather than being mechanisms that can be pushed or buttons that can be pushed from an outside influence. And when we get to the point of realizing this, then we can get ourselves into a place whereby we can start to look at our unhealed wounds and we can use the trigger that's actually part of ourselves to then start the process of doing that inner work and that inner journey. And then what we do is we get to a position whereby we can start to empower ourselves due to influences that are part of our existence that no longer have a place in that new identity that we're forming. But when we have to protect the identity at all costs, what we do is we ultimately have to attack ourselves first, but under this previous identity in order to break that down into small manageable chunks so that we can then use the elements that are consistent across both identities, but then further add new identities within the lessons that that trigger actually brings to us. So there's a slight insight into triggers and what they're designed for rather than what we potentially use them for and understand them to be. And as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.